Hey guys, we're here at Gibbon Bose Farm in uh, Southern Ontario. We milk about 260 cows. Uh, right now, during the winter months, you milk quite a bit more milk because the feed is very consistent. And as you do a good job, you will produce quite a bit of milk. So, but right now we're over our quota. Um, it's regulated by the government and by the DFO. But the problem is, is what they don't understand is millions of people look at this milk running away because it's the end of the month. So to, I have to dump, I dump 30,000 liters of milk. It breaks my heart. I will show you. By the way, this here Canadian milk. It's $7 a liter. When I go for my haircut, people say, wow, $7, Jerry, for a little bit of milk. I say, well, you have to go higher up because we have no say anymore as a dairy farmer on our own farm because they, uh, they, they make us dump it. And no matter how we stand up, so this time I'm going public. I want the people to see the pain that us growers have of 365 days as a little boy, we grew up on a dairy farm, came from Europe, work, 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 and here we are, this is what's happening. Oh, oh by the way, only one country in the world, here in Canada, there's not, a, not the United States, not Europe, where they dump thousands of liters when they're over. But we're not supposed to talk about this, because, I don't know, it's just one of those things. Um, but as it's happening, I, uh, I hope the DFO does look at this and says to herself, you tell me, if you're in the pig business, the wood industry, any steel industry, if you're 10% over when your times are good, how can you, so for us when it's good, our little bit of profit, it goes down the drain. How do you guys dare to put this product on the market for $7 a liter, and think that that's okay when there's a lot of mothers, single mothers with no, no extra, like um, they have maybe a few kids to feed or whatever, or the sick kids hospital it could go to. It could go anywhere, to the food banks. But I hope you're proud and I think you're gonna be surprised because yes, my name is Jerry Hugan. And I'm very proud that, that, that we, we, we send a really good product. And that you just kind of tell us, well, throw it down the drain, nobody sees it. It's okay, but it's not okay. So, with that being said, it's one of the best products in the world. We've been milking here for 43 years. So I just hope that people will share this. Um, I, I hope that uh, I haven't defended anybody, but the dairy industry for my kids, it has to keep growing. We are not growing, not even by 10%. We get a little bit of quota for free, okay, that gets given to us, should never be that way. You should buy, just like a trucker has to buy his transport truck, okay? And by the way, my 90 cents that I get from my liter of raw milk, they really have to do nothing to it because it's the best milk in the world. But what happens is, I pay for the trucking, I pay for the commercialized, everything gets paid to the farmer, okay? So, but anyways, uh, we, I do want to see, as you can see here, uh, Abraham, the, the good product, the cows are happy. I mean, look at these cows, right? They are free roaming. Um, she's got a smile. So anyhow, all I can say is I'm standing up a little bit for the local people. And I hope you think to yourself, hey, that farmer for 90 cents and they're paying $7, where does the extra money go? And they capped us. So I can't grow my business at all. What am I gonna tell my four kids? Hey, how do you want me to do it? Since three years ago, they can't. We're gonna go 6% higher in, in like 6%, we're looking at high interest rate. Three, the double, three times over on fuel. We are not gonna stay in business in this country. So Justin Trudeau and Rob Ford, I'd love to take you for dinner, okay? Call me, sit down with Hugan Bros Farm, and I think shit like this, we have so much poverty over the whole world. Hard working people like, like myself, I dare to say that, seven days a week as a little boy. I have, look at porn workers. They, they cannot, they, they sit to their, Mr. Hugan, what are you doing? I says, well, at the end of the month, I have to dump all my milk. You're supposed to keep it quiet. Take that to the bank.